This family Man, that's awesome. at Lannisburg National Park, and this is. <coughs> they running to get to meet their family. Come on. <laughs> oh, hello. That's what they they don't never play so by their family. Some of, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah they don't play by their family. Uh, Desmond, uh, what do we call family a group members. of elephants? A herd. A herd. There you go, family. So this is a herd of elephants. <laughs> Hey, they're gonna come closer. Yeah, heard. Heard of elephants. Yeah. There's a lot of elephants. They really move it. That's, that's what I was saying. How fast yeah, so they So family, they are coming in. They're almost here. So if they get any closer, family, I'm gonna drop the camera. I'm gonna jump out and start running. There's two babies. No, I'm not gonna do that. This is three babies. There's three babies. <laughs> And they're getting closer. Oh, the boy elephants they're have almost the horse, up on the vehicle, family. Yeah, well. I think they're coming to rush the vehicle. Hey, hey, Desmond. Hello. Desmond. Hello. The the bull the the bull elephants are the ones with the horns, right? The males. Oh, no, both male and female have got a horn. Okay. Oh, okay. So, 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 the back. Look at the baby. Look at the little one. Desmond, you ain't moving, are you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this must be a process. Are you moving back so we can touch them? Hi, they were kind of getting out of our way. Don't go. Don't go. Hi, baby. Stop. That's enough, oh, That's enough. Oh, he is going to the process. Oh, you letting, oh, letting them pass. I got you. Oh, look at that. We want, oh, my goodness. Yeah, they're going to pass. Look at the baby. Oh, my oh. goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness. Look at here. Where you going, Hi, oh, wow, look at this. Oh, okay, this is what we're going to do. Excuse yeah. me, excuse me. This is what we're going to do. We are going to literally get them from this angle right here. Come on, come on, come on. They're coming. What's happening? What's that? What's happening? I'm oh, sorry. You gotta be quiet. That's a lot right there. She got, she got two. That was awesome. Yes, that was great. There we go. Yes. 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 This man wasn't that awesome? Yes. yes. Look at those out of this world. Yeah. Yeah. So the reason why I was that saying was we must just keep it down. Sometimes when we scream in out of excitement, they run away. Ah. So we didn't want to have them walk away from us. Right. Right. We wanted to see them very nice and close across the road. That was a good move right there. That was a big one. That was a beautiful one. I don't know. I, I feel white now. <laughs> 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 you think I'm going to bring my own car next time? <laughs> Confident to bring an old car? Yeah! Hey! Yeah. 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 Give me a Range Rover. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> family, at Lannisburg, and this is... The elephants been moving. They look like they're slow, but they've been picking up ground. Yeah. He looked like he was moving when he got right up on us. Yeah. Yeah. The big dude looked at us like... <laughs> The herd of elephants. Mommy's on to the test. Thanks, Heck yeah, I was 
Up a lion. They go, mm -hmm. they go to the cookout or something. Look at that. Right. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> look at them. I mean, they just, they just rolling deep. Yeah, Roll out. Yes. What are they eating over here? Like, what do they like? Uh, grass yeah. and green, Trees, green stuff. Leaves. The good thing is they always eat. They're so quiet. Yeah, they love fruits too. It's a bunch of babies, man. A lot of babies in there. Danny. Thank you. There's some all down the back, right? Yeah. Yeah. Deep. Yeah. 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 So Desmond, is anything special going on where it's like a whole group of them? Do they usually move like that where it's uh, 20, 30 of them? Like them moving in larger packs? Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, so especially, you know when they when you see a big group of them with the babies, like from that little, you saw, we saw a little, little baby that's not even a year old. So that's a, this is normal, this is the breeding head. The females are jointed for the parenting. They bring all their babies together into one group. And then the oldest female is the leader of the group. We call her the matriarch. Okay. So it's not the big males that leads their big groups of like 50 or over there, like elephants. It will always be the oldest female that do. So the males, when they reach ages of about nine years, they get kicked out or they can volunteer to leave home. And then they can make a, they can pair up or make a bachelor group of usually about five. And how you see that is there's no babies with them. It's like five. It's not usually a big group compared to the breeding head, like with the impalas. There's five big elephants, for example. You can imagine that five big elephants, no babies with them. Then you know it is the boys. It is the males. Yeah. And then um, ah, you know they don't represent us very well. It's the females that take care of the babies and everything. The males are on the other side um, at the bar. <laughs> funny, right? Yeah, so everyone, every time you see a lot of elephants like that, it's pretty much normal. It is the breeding head. The oldest female is the leader of the group. Okay, it is not the big males. If you find a big male in here, that will only be the male that just came to breed. And then afterwards, uh, when the babies are born or when he runs out of the breeding season, he leaves the group. And then the other male will come to take over. So the males are in the uh, breeding season or the mating season different times of the year. And then elephants will breed like throughout the year. That's why they give birth um, um, usually any time of the year. Okay. Yeah, it's because um, 
The other male that comes in here that's on that high testosterone level that we said they unpredictable and very aggressive will come in here. Chase away the rest of the other males. When he runs out of that um, breeding season, the other one takes over and then they kick him away as well. So it just becomes a cycle like that. Yeah, the weaker ones gotta learn to team up and beat up the big bully. Yeah, he's in it. I'll teach them, man. Eh? <laughs> I'll tell them, hey, this but is. But it, it don't work like that, you're saying, in, in nature. Yeah, for them, they're not as smart. You know, animals that can have like strong instincts and senses, but they're not as smart as we think. They're not quick when it comes to thinking as much as we do. And you see, it's vice versa. We've got brains, but not as much strong senses, to be honest, you know, as the animals. I mean, these elephants have got good memory, strong sense of smell. Um, they can communicate through ground vibrations like many miles or kilometers in between. So that's powerful. Yeah. And then they could even fall on their grooves uh, just by picking up on the scent on the ground. Just like a, 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 a sniffer dog. I mean, a dog could pick up on a smell of something strange in the yard without even having to see it. But us, if you don't see it, uh -uh, you, if you don't see it, it becomes hard to believe it. Okay. Everybody still okay? Yeah. Yes, sir. You're yes, still I strong. <laughs> you got a question? Yes. Are, are any of the, uh, the big five uh, endangered out here? Or? Yeah, we could say rhino is number one on the list. You know, rhinos were almost extinct. Um, especially you find two common species that is the black rhino and the black white rhino. Black rhino. So black rhino, yeah, is the one that was almost out. Like, okay. they, yeah, in the whole continent of Africa at some point, they went down to less than 3,000. You can imagine yeah. if there's only 3,000. So yeah, rhinos. That's why they, they're very rare to see. And then um, white rhinos, they at least not as endangered as um, black rhinos, but they are endangered as well. The people have been killing these mighty animals, these beautiful, precious animals for their horns. So even in our game reserve, that has been the case. Poaching was high when I started in 2018. Yeah, I mean, it was one of the years that poaching was very high. 2018 and 2019, in that two years, they estimated plus minus 60 rhinos killed wow. in our game reserve alone. Um, mm -hmm. So if they kill them in that number until now, 2023 to us, 2024, we'd have almost been finding it difficult to see it and it have been almost, you know, impossible to see. So 2018 and 2019, a lot of rhinos were killed. 2020, early 2020, March, we went to quarantine and then borders were closed. You know, there was no movement. No, there it was a big hiccup for the trade. So they couldn't exchange for whatever um, they exchange for the rhino horn. So <laughs> fortunately, locally, I usually say, I wouldn't say people don't demand the rhino horn, but if there are people that do, it's only a few. So that's why they were able to multiply as well. They were able to increase in numbers and like that. That's one good thing. Yeah, that's one good thing. And um, ooh, that's you. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's just sad, you know, people have been killing them brutally. And I've done wow. witness that, yeah, it is used to be the story that we had whilst we had schools and everything. And then when I came to the bush, I started seeing that myself. And I was like, okay. And um, I've never seen, like, people that kill the rhinos being caught, you know. I've never seen them myself. So it's just a, a tricky thing. But then up to now, um, post-lockdown, since we came from late um, 2020 until now, there hasn't been a um, lot of rhinos being killed. I've, I can't recall like seeing any since we came from quarantine until now. And then another important thing before we go, they started dehorning our rhinos for the first time in when we went to um, lockdown. So that's when um, when we see a rhino on the next corner, you're gonna see none of them's got the horn. They cut off all of their horns, all of them in the 137 acres. Okay, everybody's okay. Yeah, that keeps them alive. Yeah, that at least um, yeah, it at least discourages poaching a little bit. You know, if um people see a very big horn, that you know motivates them to kill the the rhino. But if a rhino is fully grown and the horn has been cut off, they don't have a reason to kill it. So that has helped a little bit. You know, in terms of I mean, they live usually a kilogram or two. That the people still wanna kill it, kill them for that. But yeah, but um. Oh, um, dehorning them helps like reduce poaching. Sorry, it helps reduce poaching. Everybody's okay. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. On the road again. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's find that 